Welcome to our demonstration of EGL Community Edition. This is part of a course called Essential Web Services with EGL. We want to start with a brand new workspace, and the first thing we want to do in a workspace is to check to make sure that the Build Automatically setting is enabled, and it is. We want to be able to close the four projects that we're not going to use. And the one project we are going to use, we want to make sure it's open. Then we'll go to the servers view and create a new Tomcat server. It's Apache Tomcat version 6 server. And this is the installation directory on my computer. That all looks good. Click Finish. Before starting an ETL project, I need to make sure that I'm able to start and stop my Tomcat server. So it started. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the display console. I'll stop the server. Now I'll create an EGL project. And our EGL project is called Server Time RUI because it's a rich UI project. Then, in the EGL source folder, I'm going to create a new package, and we're going to call it services, server time, and then I'll create a new SOAP web service using new service, check off the create as web SOAP service, and the name of the service is going to be called server time. So our service is called service server time right there. And we're going to have one operation in our service that's called get server time. And it's going to return string. To get the time in EGL, we just create a timestamp object. And then to convert it to a string, Looks like that, and that's the extent of our service for today. Very simple service. To deploy the service, we'll open up the EGL deployment descriptor and press the New button. And we'll create a Tomcat project called SDR Time. So all these options look good. All those options look good. And we'll create the dynamic web project. Now we save the deployment descriptor, and then when we deploy the EGL Rich UI project, it will deploy to that dynamic web project. When it finishes deploying, when you deploy to Tomcat, it always finishes with the status of restart. So the next thing I want to do is I want to restart the Tomcat server so I get a, a good status. Of synchronize. Then I can test the web service by locating the WSDL file. Right click and under web services, test with web services explorer. The web services explorer, I select the get server time operation and there are no request parameters, so I'll be able to press the Go button. And what is displayed is the time according to the server. 